Today we're gonna to be looking at a new cryptocurrency opportunity that claims that they will take you to the peak. My name is Vosk, I'm a full-time crypto freaking nerd. You're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. And today we've been commissioned to review Summit and everything they have to offer with a key focus on what is Summit mining and why is it interesting? Summit has over 5,000 clients and more than 64 million invested by their clients. They have 40 experts on the team and over 20,000 mining machines in four different countries. The backbone of Summit is the Summit Mining. What Summit Mining is, you know, a revenue opportunity through crypto mining, right? You earn passive income with mining, but they're doing literally all of the hard work. You essentially are putting money in, they do all the mining stuff and you earn the returns. It's just gonna be a key classic business of economies of scale. And uh, I watched this interview from their CEO and uh, this uh, snippet pulls and shows that he's basically referencing economies of scale here, right? You know, big buy-in, collection of cash, get the rates down, deploy gear that you buy at a better rate because you're buying in bulk. And that is absolutely the way mining rig buys work. Uh, and then obviously you have a centered uh, mining farm, which helps you secure a better rate and so forth. All of the infrastructure also comes at a reduced cost compared with how many miners you're running. Donc là le minage communautaire permet de, de, de minimiser ça en, en achetant des lots beaucoup plus larges en termes de machines puisqu'on mm -hmm. a plus de fonds et les, les machines sont ensuite divisées au niveau de tous les clients de manière à pouvoir réduire le risque sur la tête de chaque de, de chaque personne. Summit.io is a very real team. They have names, they have faces. This isn't some weird new and non anything. They actually started back in 2019. Uh, they launched it in 2019, actually around April. They've been working since then. Initially, they had 70 clients, $270,000 of invested funds. About a year later, grew 10X on the client side, 700 clients, $3.6 million of invested funds. In 2021, they reached 20,000 Bitcoin miners. By the end of that year, they had over 5,000 clients and 60 million invested. Since then, they've only been growing and expanding and diversifying their operation. So before we start really digging into Summit Mining, let's just take a brief look at Summit Gravity. So Summit Gravity is supposed to be investing in crypto projects with high potential, right? Saying 20, to 80% annual returns, obviously not guaranteed, and this is obviously not financial advice. You know, they have 11 million in, in managed funds. Uh, they boast 1,500 satisfied customers. Good way to think of this is, you know, this is kind of like a investment firm, an investment fund, right? This is a place where people go and they're like, hey, here's my money. Obviously, you're gonna take a cut. Uh, go get me some returns. But like any investment, it could also lose value. So make sure you're like very aware of that. They also pay out the returns monthly and so forth. And uh, this is obviously a, you know, their platform, a centralized platform. So, uh, you know, you're giving them your coins, your money, your investment. Uh, they have the key, if you will. Summit Quantum, growing your cash with minimal risk. <laughs> that sounds pretty. I feel like I've heard that one before. Six to 8% a year over 3 million managed. This is obviously just gonna be low risk stuff that they're gonna pursue that gets lower rate of returns. Not personally for me, but hey, just a heads up for you. They also have Summit Research, sophisticated analyses of crypto projects to enable investors to make informed investment decisions. So this is basically you buying into their research. If they have to do all these other services we just referenced, well, they're probably doing a lot of research, or at least I hope so. So they're like, I guess, hey, might as well monetize this. Enter Summit Research for a price. You can get access to everything they're researching right now, in the future, and all of their historic uh, research data. Been getting back into the node game, so it's kind of fun, kind of timely. Uh, but if you have crypto nodes or you want to, uh, you know, run nodes with them, uh, they op offer the opportunity to do that. 245 managed servers. They've got 3 million just in blocked flux there. So they've got multiple uh, cryptocurrencies here. Obviously, Ethereum, Flux, among uh, several other cryptocurrencies. Uh, so if you want the easy returns and not work and you're willing to pay for that, 
And this is obviously going to be a service that may interest you. Uh, something we're seeing more and more of of these uh, big mining farm buildouts. They also just start selling gear because they're dealing in volume, and the more gear they deal with in volume, the better rates they get. And so they can pass some of those. I'm going to keep saying it in this video: economies of scale to you, and uh, and it can potentially help both parties there. So you buy machines, and uh, they get sent to you. Or you can buy machines and have them hosted with their Summit hosting, right? Uh, so Summit hosting is the hosting of mining machines. It's co-location. Uh, it's having someone run your Bitcoin miners and other mining rigs for you. Uh, they have a pretty low entry point compared to most mining farms. It's still large at 25 Bitcoin miners. But getting 25 miners th in this era, you know, you can get 25 Bitcoin miners right now of the S19 series for like 25 grand. Previously, that was a quarter million dollars in the last bull run. That's obviously an option here as well. They have also got an ICO going on, but let's finally get here on topic and target with Summit Mining. You can see there's a lot to unpack and with the team of 40 people, well, there better be. Uh, so that's cool and exciting to see uh, that there's just a whole gambit of different things going on at Summit HQ. And uh, honestly, I, I like the name Summit, uh, you know, obviously the top, that, I, I like that. It's just, uh, you know, I, I see so much stuff going, you know, flying by me, wasn't it? Uh, the, the, the name, the general branding kind of resonates uh, with me. So I think that's cool. But uh, personally, I would have made the logo look more like a mountain or something, but that's just me. They say they've got over 20,000 miners managed. Their average cost per kilowatt hour is gonna be 0.07 euros. 31 million mined by customers, 5,000 satisfied customers. It's a real simple pitch, right? Unique shared Bitcoin mining service. <laughs> we buy, you mine. Once a month, they buy the most interesting mining machines of the moment with the funds at their disposal, add them to the mining park they manage. Uh, forget the farm, we got a park now. Once installed in the mining park, all profits are shared with all existing customers. No more unlucky miner who buys a machine that breaks down after a few days. Uh, so there is a cool aspect to that, right? So, I mean, if you buy one miner and you get a bad miner, then your you know entire mining investment is down. Whereas if a thousand people buy a thousand miners and 10 miners don't work, well, then everyone collectively gets one one thousandth of 999 miners until those 10 miners are repaired or replaced. So it is hedging your risk in that regard. That's a cool thing to see. That same kind of logic and mindset is why people uh, mine on Bitcoin mining pools as opposed to solo mining. If you don't hit a block, you don't you, you don't get paid. Uh, whereas pretty much everybody nowadays on uh, on the Bitcoin mining front mine on Bitcoin mining pools, which is going to be hedging your risk, uh, and then you get uh, paid out with regularity. So I didn't hit a Bitcoin block on all these different days, right? The mining pool did. And then I earn my share of that mining reward. Or in this case, uh, <laughs> yesterday, we didn't hit a block. So I earned zero dollars. Even though my estimated daily reward is supposed to be 0 0.0045 Bitcoin or about $171 with my 20 Bitcoin miners. But alas, there's always an upside and a downside to self mining. That's a funny typo. You don't want to become a miner, all right? You want to be a M-I-N-E-R. I mean, I'm assuming you understand the basics of mining if you're on the Voxcoin YouTube channel where we do a lot of mining here. But let's just do a fun recap in case you don't, right? Mining, as they put it, is verifying transactions made between people who exchange cryptocurrencies, right? You know, you're processing Bitcoin transactions among other coins. Miners are the people who mine. This is the name given to computers. By mining, you're charged a fee for each verified transaction. Basically what that's trying to say is that every time a fee is paid on the Bitcoin network, it, it, at least in Bitcoin scenario, that fee goes straight to miners and it's slapped on top of uh, the block reward, uh, which has a standard you know, set number. But the more Bitcoin as a blockchain is used and utilized, the more expensive it becomes to use it. All of those transactions go to the Bitcoin miners and on certain days, uh, it's, it's been picking up recently, those transactions add significantly to the daily emission. So in the last 24 hours, over $36 million of new Bitcoin, it's been kind of emitted to the miners. The majority of that is newly minted or mined Bitcoin, but a couple million of that is also just transaction fees 
paid you know by bitcoin users with existing bitcoin now being distributed back to the bitcoin miners anybody can start mining bitcoin and we have all kinds of videos on how to set one up and run it yourself but the fact is if your electricity rate isn't cheap enough or you, and you don't have a good place to do it or feel like dealing with it the mining may not be for you sure it's really fun but like everything it's not for everyone but maybe you want to be exposed to the potential returns of mining without actually doing the mining work well that's where you can join summit mining from here this is their dashboard this will give you an idea of what it would look like after you created an account and how much you are earning here and things like that uh we see a different breakdown of their different miners uh if you think of the timeline when their mining farm came online uh they clearly had a big push and focus into ethereum mining but they've since turned off their entire ethereum mining operation we can see that they have mining taking place and which ones are there and so forth uh, in Canada, as well as three different sites in the United States. And then in Iceland, some of those related to the just famous volcanic Bitcoin mining. And then five sites in Russia and a former site in China. But those are all in the process of being either decommissioned, offloaded, or transported to be turned back online at their Iceland location. In order to participate with Summit Mining, you need SMK. What is SMK? SMK is basically tokenized Bitcoin mining, or specifically Summit Mining Distribution, or a Summit Mining Key. SMK designates a token which corresponds to one euro invested by the client in the purchase of equipment and they've opened up their own marketplace regarding this they rotate the market between buying phases and then opening it for sellers it's an interesting mashup of a tokenized real world asset and it's not the only token that they're focused on because they also are launching the summit token and the official public phase one of the summit token ico is open they've successfully raised 6.36 million from the community and now they've entered the international phase here their goal is to raise funds to be able to develop services to make themselves a global player in the crypto sector they want to unite their community around a common project and they have a key focus on growing internationally especially in well the web3 sector the four key new services that they are building is summit Academy, basically a Web3 crypto training course academy, if you will. Summit Bank, enable anyone to invest in cryptocurrency without the current difficulties associated with traditional banks. Summit Consulting, tailor-made support for the most ambitious projects. And Summit Technology, development in tomorrow's Web3 technology solution. They have an intricate ecosystem here. To put it simply, and the way this all kind of ties together, in my point of view, is they're doing like all this stuff, right? Compounding the interest. The more Summit grows, the more the revenue allocated to the mining farm increases. The revenue from the mining farm increases the buying pressure, enabling the Summit token price to appreciate over time. Deflation, the gradual destruction of the Summit tokens reduces the supply at constant demand. The value of the Summit token increases mechanically or I would maybe say like systematically with the system they've put in place. Obviously nothing's guaranteed, right? That, this, that, that's like their plan. That's the hope, that's the dream. Redistribution. Profits are redistributed to Summit token holders. <laughs> this has been a lot to unpack, but let's round it out with the Summit mining pricing, right? So you open an account as free. They accept the Euro. They also accept cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, USDT on the Ethereum network, as well as the Tron network, DAI, USDC, and BUSD. And on BUSD, they accept it on the Binance or BNB smart chain network. The initial deposit is pretty low given things like this, you know, normally. It's 2,000 euros. And after your initial deposit, the additional deposit is at 100 euros. It's basically like a 2K buy-in, and then there's no limit there. There is a 25% processing fee. This covers the expenses prior to the installation of equipment, transport, insurance, logistics, customs. There's a lot that goes into this, and thus there's a huge fee. Understand that, you know, you know I imported a, another Bitcoin miner just last week, 
and I got hit with a 25% tariff on the miner. That cost me nearly a thousand dollars. And understanding things like that could quickly turn an operation upside down. I'm not trying to sit here and justify their fee exactly, but I just want to make sure you're fully aware of some of the things that go into buying and building and receiving a Bitcoin and crypto mining farm. 20% performance fee. If you want to withdraw capital outside of their marketplace, they say it'll be within 30 days at the actual SMK value. So what do you guys think about Summit? I didn't really want to make the video overwhelming. Even this is the abridged version. Uh, so if you enjoyed the content at all, stick around for 10 seconds of tales. We run 10 seconds of tales in every video. She's our CTO, our chief tales officer here at the Vosk on YouTube channel. Again, my name is Vosk. I can't even get my name right anymore. My name is Vosk. You're in the Vosk coin YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Let me know your questions and thoughts down in the comment section below. Hope to see you on the next video.